I've had this knife probably about 10 years now, longer than I've known my wife, and uh, I'm just as close with it. Don't tell, please don't tell my wife that, please, Mike. Mike, please don't tell my wife. Oh hey, it's Paul Kita. You may remember me from such recipes as chicken pan pie. It's chicken pot pie in a pan. And mac and cheese with ham and peas. Today we're gonna to bring you a brand new recipe in the series. Tuna burgers with avocado, snow peas, and wasabi mayo. We're not talking about from a can, we're talking about super fresh, as, as fresh as you can get them, tuna steaks. We're gonna chop them up so that they're just like ground beef. They need a little bit of texture. And the great thing about tuna is it's, it's got kind of the substance of ground beef. You just work through it until you get that kind of hamburger-like consistency. Uh, about a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs, one egg, some body minced chives. Chives are gonna give us a little bit of an oniony bite. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of reduced sodium soy sauce, about a teaspoon. And secret ingredient in this recipe, fish sauce. See how small the hole is on that thing? That's for a good reason. This stuff is gnarly, but it has this great, like rich, savory flavor to it that kind of beefs up the tuna burger. This is Japanese mayonnaise, and I don't know what they put in this stuff, but I would seriously eat it by the spoonful. I don't know I asked you to do this. This is delicious. We want about a quarter cup of that, and then a little bit of wasabi powder. So um, we're gonna mix this up till we get a good consistency. And if it feels a little bit too wet, we're gonna add some more breadcrumbs. So now we're gonna shape it into burger-like patties. And now we're gonna cook them up. Lift them gingerly into the pan. So again, these are gonna cook about two, th th two to four minutes. We can't uh, just do normal, old, boring, bland lettuce with this. We're gonna do something fun. We're gonna do snap peas, which we're cutting on the diagonal. All right, you're gonna take a couple here, trimmed ones, and get them as fine as you can. All right, we're gonna get in here and flip these. Gently, 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 and commit. Let them sit for about two more minutes and then they're ready to pull and burger. Always put the burger on the bottom bun because then the juices are gonna come out and the burger bun's gonna soak them up, man. Don't miss out. Then we're gonna put uh, some avocado slices. I usually do like a quarter. We can give it that awesome creaminess. I'm gonna do a little bit more QP on top. is actually gonna act as a kind of a epoxy here. And then we pop on the top burger bun. Not getting that at Mickey D's. 